Hey, so MLB, Yankees, Rays, Red Sox. What about the game? Who can predict who's going to win this game? How does Garrett Cole do against the Red Sox? Forget it. How does Ivaldi do against the Yankees? All these stats are going to be given to you today. This is what people in the media do, and it makes me smile. They get on the air. They do an hour of pregame. They give you every stat, batter versus pitcher. Do you know that Alex Verdugo is seven for 21 against Garrett Cole with eight strikeouts, two home runs, and a double? He's going to be the key. I'm making all that up because in the real world, the people running the team, we actually don't look at that. Now, everyone in analytics will say, oh, my God, of course we look at that. Analytics is based on a large sample size. And it's based on the way casino games are based, where the odds are over time on the roulette wheel, you're going to get a red, but you may get 10 blacks in a row and a few greens put in, but eventually a red's going to come up. Do you have the money to stay there until you do? Analytics goes out over time. This is going to happen. It doesn't mean at this particular at bat that this player is going to hit into the shift. It means more often than not, this particular player will hit that way when he hits it on the ground. Therefore, we're going to play him that way. It doesn't mean he's not going to hit a home run or a single the other way. So the reason why when we're making up our lineups for the wild card, we're not solely focused on stats versus the pitcher who's facing us or the team or how they're doing in their last five or seven games. We're putting a lineup together to the best of our ability that has gotten us where we are today. If we have a platoon situation and there's a righty pitching, we're going to play our left-handed players. If we've changed our lineup when the righty's pitching versus a lefty and Cole's on the mound, we're going to, even if someone is 0 for 20 against Cole, we're going to play him. So the pressure really goes to the starting pitchers in one game elimination games. Because if your team is out of it immediately, in a regular season game, if if a pitcher gives up six runs in two innings, you pull them out, you make it a bullpen game, and you live to see another day. One in 100 times, one in 500 times, you can come back from a six-run deficit, but generally, the game's over. So what the Red Sox and Yankees hope, like every wild card team hopes when you have one game only, is that this is not a day where your starting pitcher gets rocked and has to be pulled early. But the key to tonight's game will not be Garrett Cole. It will not be Nate Evaldi. The key is actually going to be the bullpen. Because in games like this, more often than not, the starter does survive. And it's not a blowout in the first two innings. So you bring in someone like Lois Sega. You see what Chapman's going to do. You wonder whether Pavetta will get the ball, how Sawamura is going to do. Maybe Whitlock. If you're watching the game tonight, watch for the bullpens. The team that has the best bullpen performance generally will win a game. When it's a one-game series, obviously anything can happen, but I'm looking bullpen. If I had to guess what's going to happen tonight, somebody is going to be a hero because in one-game playoffs, that's what happens. They hit the big home run. I think it could be Joey Gallo. Joey Gallo is not even hitting above the Mendoza line. Struggled since he was traded to the Yankees. When he connects, he connects. I think that he would be my possible player to hit a home run tonight. Stanton's going to feel pressure because he's never been to the World Series and wants to get there. That's why he wanted to be traded to the Yankees. He's been so hot, but he cooled off since he was hot. The Yankees, you're going to hear all day today. They swept the Red Sox in Fenway last month. You're going to hear the Red Sox beat the Yankees seven times in a row back early in the season. But now the Yankees caught up, but the Red Sox won the season series 10-9, which is why the Red Sox are hosting blah, blah, blah. It's all a bunch of noise. Don't get fooled by any of it. 